In this video, you're gonna learn about how I trained for an ultra marathon. I've got 14 weeks until my next event, which is called the Druids Challenge. It's a three day ultra marathon event on the Ridgeway. It's 84 miles. These videos are gonna cover what training I'm doing physically and also what training I'm doing mentally by somebody else, but more on that later. So to train for the event, I'm using this book here, Running Your First Ultra by a, an amazing ultra runner called Chrissy Mayo. Now, when I first bought this book, uh, you can see her name there, Chrissy Mayo. Uh, and I didn't think, I didn't, had, didn't have a clue how to say her name at all until I heard her being interviewed on a podcast. And it is Mayo, Chrissy Mayo, even though it looks like Moel, Moel, it is Chrissy Mayo. I just like the variety in it. There's always different things to do and every single run is different every week. So this week is week one. It is base training. And so uh, she <laughs> she uh, says, please promise me that you've been training for three or four months to 30 miles a week before you start this training plan. Uh, yeah, uh, I haven't, but I'm not doing a full 26 weeks. I've only got 14 weeks, so I'm gonna do slightly less and I'm gonna be changing it as I go. I don't know how I'm gonna change it yet, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, just like an endurance event, I'm gonna worry about it when I need to worry about it. All I'm gonna do is focus on the week I'm in, and that is the base building week. So I'm definitely gonna do the four weeks of base building, which is basically very small, steady runs and other bis different bits of uh, workouts that you do throughout the week. So let's have a look how my week went. Monday morning was three miles steady. Now. In the training plan, there's three different speeds of running, easy, steady, and tempo. And I always struggle, especially at the beginning of a training block, what the hell steady actually is for me. Uh, and I always go out too fast, and I went out too fast again, and I seem to run tempo. But when I'm looking at the splits on my watch, I'm like, well, this is not that fast. But if you're not used to the speed work, you're not work used to running at a certain pace or a certain effort, then your, or my hamstrings tell me pretty quickly. So uh, the three miles steady was more quicker than it should have been. And then to fit the core, and then straight on the same day, there's just, a, it, there's a core workout. And I did a follow along glute strength workout with Claire Maxted from the Wild Ginger Running. It's simple. You just come in straight from your run. You're all hot and sweaty. You put the TV on you press play on YouTube, you press play on your watch, and you do a final long core workout for 10 minutes doing glute strength, mostly glute strength. It's very simple. I've been doing it for a few years now, and Claire plays it down a little bit, her video. She thinks there's a lot better on there, but I think it's a simple, easy thing to do. Easy exercises, simple to do, and she's such a lovely person anyway. So I definitely recommend checking that video out. I will leave a link in the description below. It's an easy thing to not be able to fit into your weak core workouts. And it's something that I know that a lot of runners don't focus on or don't think they should focus on. But if you're gonna run a trail event or ultra marathon event, you do need extra strength um, to get you up and down those hills, to get you over all those dif di different bumps and lumps. And particularly somebody who's middle-aged like me, you need to be a little bit more stronger. You need to make sure that your, your limb, your, yeah, <laughs> you're not creaking around. Uh, being subtle, no. I am quite subtle sometimes. I'm trying to be more subtle in this video, actually. Supple, that's the word I was trying to say. Being more supple and flexible is as, as, is as important to having the, uh, the, the miles in your legs. That's what I think anyway. So that was Monday. I'm day two in the training plan and I'm already making changes. So day two is supposed to be 45 minutes of cardio. And because I haven't done much uh, training, I had literally had July off. I did St. Cuthbert's uh, and uh, I run, you know, 100K over those four days or whatever. And then I had like four or five weeks off of running. I run once a, once a week or something like that. So I thought, right, let's just go in gently. I ran quite quick yesterday, did a core workout, feel good. So all I did on Tuesday was do a yoga. Uh, I did a yoga session with Adrian, running runners yoga once again. YouTube fanboy right here. So that was Tuesday, and I really enjoy the the yoga sessions. By the way, it is a bit weird when you first start off. You think, why the yoga? What the hell? But uh, yeah, uh, once again, 
I'm getting a bit old in the tooth now. So I gotta look after myself and I find that yoga is definitely one of those things that's helping me. Wednesday, rest day. Rest is, is, is a really important part of your training. Don't underestimate rest days. People get a bit agitated on rest days. You know, chill out. You have to rest your body. If you don't rest your body properly, you're never gonna recover properly. Sleep really well. Make sure you're not drinking, uh, you know, alcohol or whatever in the week and when you're training. Lots of water, get some decent sleep, and then you're ready to go for your next training session. It's like, it's really underrated, I think, rest. Um, we could do a little bit too much rest when we're not training at all, but when you are committing to a full training cycle, get those rest days in. Thursday morning was a five mile steady run and uh, I thought I'd try something different because uh, once again, I went out too quick. I found, um, I do my steady runs by the way on pavement or tarmac and I do my easy runs and long runs on trails. I went out once again, I found a loop. Uh, I thought it was a five mile loop and it ended up being three and a half miles. And once again, I was trying to run to a sort of rhythm in my brain, like trying to make the the foot, the, the feet land a little bit quicker to try and get some sort of like steady. But I, once again, I think, you know, my, my body is not quite ready for that tempo that I was running at. Um, so my steady pace is basically my tempo at the moment. But you know, you don't need to, I don't need to worry about that. And so once again, I got to the end of 33.5 mile loop around this little loop that I found. And I was a bit done. I was a bit like, you know what? I could run the next mile and a half, but I'm not, I'm not gonna, I just feel as if I've given it too much. So I got to the end of that three and a half mile loop and I thought, right, I'm gonna sack it off now. I'm gonna try something a bit different and I'm gonna do a split day. So I'm gonna do a little bit of running uh, at the beginning of the day and a little bit of running at the end of the day. And so I can see how it feels to run after a long day at work, after feeling a bit tired and you're still getting a bit of running in there, which is good training for endurance events, right? Came in early from the run, and then I came in and did another core workout, another follow along workout on YouTube. This time, Sarah Place core workout for runners. Loads of different types of um, alternative planks. I mean, that sounds very dull, doesn't it? But it's not. Things like uh, stair climb, mountaineer, what are they called? What should you call them? Dead bugs is a great one. Mountain climbers, all sorts of different um, exercises. But once again, only 10 minutes and really, easy to follow, a really good exercises from another ultra runner. So once again, you know, easy getting those core exercises in straight after you run. You're all warmed up and then you just do your core exercises, have a stretch, have a shower. Jobs are good and all done. Friday was another three miles easy. So all the, all the mileage here, nice and, it's nice and low for a first week. Um, nothing much to really to say about that apart from running in a straight line at zero elevation along the well near wash. Uh, if you look at the Strava, it looks really dull, but uh, it's a lovely place. Uh, here's, a, here's a shot of me there in the winter. It, it's, uh, it's, it's quite quite surreal actually, uh, running there, but quite, quite nice as well. Not for everyone maybe, but I like it. And then my uh, long run was on Saturday, which was um, down for eight miles. Um, I went to Shoot and Warren, where I did my last, I shot my last video uh, last weekend. I loved it so much, I had to go back there. Got a four mile loop and just ran it twice. First four mile loop, took some wrong turns, just orienteering really, trying to work out the best routes in a new area, you know, the routine uh, got got stuck behind some ferns and stuff, but the second four mile loop was lovely. It was absolutely perfect. The only thing about it was uh, it poured with rain all the time. But uh, yeah, more about that from this man. Hello, I'm the Mindful Guru, and I'm here to help you deal with the mind part of endurance running. Now running in the rain may seem a bit annoying at first, but the more you do things in training that are annoying, that are frustrating, that aren't actually very nice to do, then the easier it will become and the more normal it will feel on race day. Don't forget, you're not made of sugar. You're not going to dissolve in the rain. You'll be absolutely fine. And so yeah, that was Saturday and Sunday. Today is a rest day, which is probably why I've managed to fit this video in. Um, 
Thanks for listening to me uh, waffle on about my first week of training for the Druids Challenge. Uh, it's in 12 weeks, no, it's in four, 14 weeks time. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you've been uh, doing some training this week. How did your training go? In? I'm honestly really interested. I answer every single comment that comes on every of my videos. So yeah, please get in touch with me. Let's uh, build this tribe of endurance runners up a little bit more on this channel. So yeah, thanks for watching. And maybe next week I shall see you again with base training week two. <laughs> Sounds really fun, doesn't it? Take care for now. Thanks for watching.